Madam President, P5 members bear a particular responsibility to uphold global norms and international law, all the more so where weapons of mass destruction uh, is concerned. One P5 member has not upheld uh, these important norms. One P5 member has undertaken a pattern of behaviour which showed that they tried to murder the Skripals. They played dice with the lives of the people of Salisbury. They work in a parallel universe where the normal rules of international affairs are inverted. This is a direct challenge, Madam President, to the rules-based international system which has kept all of us safe, including Russia, since 1945. In the face of such behaviour, the international community needs to continue to defend the laws, norms and institutions that safeguard our citizens against chemical weapons and safeguard them against the threat of hostile foreign interference. We rest in a clear basis in law for their attempted murder crimes. When our security is threatened, when the lives of our citizens are endangered, and when Rather than accept responsibility for its actions, the Russian government has offered only denials and counter accusations, anything to deflect attention and distract from its guilt. The Russian denials have followed a familiar script from Crimea to MH17 to the Donbass to the killing of Litvienko. The list goes on and on, and the song is always the same. Russia is somehow never behind these incidents. But no one's buying it. The most recent British action ensures that Russia doesn't get away with this brazen attack. The investigation into the murder of Dawn Sturgis remains ongoing. Madam While this incident was in Salisbury, who is to say it couldn't have happened in Paris or Amsterdam or Addis? But we must now help our British friends find the two Russian suspects they have identified and bring them to face justice in the United Kingdom. Better yet, why doesn't the Russian government turn these two murderers over to British authorities?